Good morning, party people. It is Will Pemble here. I am going to see how much progress I can make in the next couple of days because Liz and the kids are out of town. So I'm going to see what I can do. Let me first show you what I've decided is um, the at least uh, going to do it solution to the lift hill motor because that's been bugging us all, as you know. So anyway, check this out. Like most guys, when Liz is out of town, I don't go to bed. I just don't know when to go to sleep. I wander around like a like a monkey not knowing what to do next. So um, what I did was I, I got up in the middle of the night and I figured out that what if I took the, I have the motor, I have the big pulley, and I have the small pulley which is attached to the sprocket. And those th three things need to be tense. There needs to be tension between those things so that the pulleys pull right and a whole bunch of other things work the way they should. And so I thought, well, that's three fingers. What if I just hinged them and had them pull apart like that? And then, and so what I'm doing is I'm building that here. You see, last night I got up in the middle of the night and I put this thing on hinges, right? So this belt over here, if you look at this belt over here, this is going to attach to this pulley and it's going to pull tight. And then this pulley is going to attach to this belt and then the motor is going to be here and that's also going to be on a hinge and uh, on a hinge that's going to hinge up that's going to hang down from here on this part and then those things I can use I can use a toggle bolt or any kind of thing to um, uh, not toggle bolt I can use a turnbuckle or any kind of thing to keep tension between these three pieces this will be the third one right that's our transmission mount from before and um, and I think I can make the thing come true. This went together really, really fast last night. This thing went together really fast and it spins really nicely and we're gonna lock those down. It's got all the pulleys and everything that it needs. So anyway, I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna try to make that come true today and I'm gonna start right now. So here's a conundrum. I've got, I made these, uh, these bars. These are 19 inches or so. And what they do is they're gonna, uh, I'm gonna drill holes through here. And then this is what the, this is what the transmission mount is going to hinge on, right? That's how that's going to that's how that's going to all play out, right? So now what I'm thinking is I've got this puzzle going on in my head where I'm trying to figure out whether um, see like this is just kind of crazy strong. I built this little I built this little notch in the side of the steel here so it sits there and it also drops a thing down far enough to where this is nice and uh, this is going to be a nice strong connection between these two bars and then the thing will hang on that, right? So we want it to be strong. Sure, of course we do. Um, but then here's the thing. I also want it to be beautiful. So what? Look what, I, look what I could do. If I did this, turn it upside down, that notch will still work and it'll still be really smooth against there, but then you'll have like the, you know, the weld will be the only thing holding it up and I, but I want it, but look at how much cooler it'll look. It'll look like really pretty. So, um, I think in this instance, I'm going to sacrifice the pretty and go for the strong. Because um, I think stronger would be better when you're talking about a roller coaster. All right, so today I have to choose between pretty and strong. I'm gonna choose strong. So the idea now is I've got my, I've got my, my beams that are gonna go across and they're gonna be nice and strong because they sit down on top of all of this thing. I've got, <clears throat> just because I use skateboard wheels for like everything. I have more 5 sixteenths, uh, I have more 5 sixteenths nuts and bolts than you can shake a stick at. And so here's, here's my general, here's my general notion here. 5 sixteenths, uh, 5 sixteenths nut goes through here, bolt goes through here, 5 sixteenths bolt goes through here. Same thing on this side and same thing on this side. And then, that we will, I'll weld this all into place, but then the motor, you see that, the motor will get mounted down here, and then this will attach to the pulley, right, and then this whole system will be kind of able to able to kind of self tension and it'll also be able to spread the tension evenly between the pulleys because the whole thing is going to end up 
um, I think everything is going to pull on everything else equally. So anyway, that's my that's my kooky notion. I'm going to put it together and see if it works. I'm going to put it together and see if it works. Okay, now let's test it here. I've got everything. I've got everything all set up. The the top of the track is just how it's going to be. Here's the here's the lift chain, which will engage right around there, and then all of this stuff, everything, all of the transmission stuff will hang down below this. And so now all I have to do is make sure that the cart will roll over it, and we can get on to the to the next piece. And so here's my front here's my front wheels, um, and that just rolls beautifully a little bit of a got a little piece of a uh, little piece of metal that's just it wasn't perfectly smooth Meanwhile, back in the house, I'm printing an iPhone case that I can use with my GoPro mounts so that instead of just leaving the camera wherever it is, we can have a walk and talk every now and then. Won't that be awesome? See? Now we can do an awesome walk and talk. So I'll show you what, uh, what the plan is for the next couple of days. Uh, as you know, this is my front yard. If this is the first time you've watched the video, this is my front yard. Um, and what I'd like to do here is I'd like to take, I've got some bits and pieces of track here that I've just sort of put around for, for cause I don't have any other place to keep them. And, um, but what I want to do here is the lift hill that I've been working on. I'm going to get it way over here in this, in this corner of the yard, right down, like right up in this corner and that's going to be that's going to be the start that's going to be the start of the whole thing and it's going to start right where you're standing and i'll give you a little bit of a ride on it'll start right up here the lift and this will be the top of the hill and then i want it to come down this way and this is actually part of i guess this is kind of the re part of the return track but i want it to come down this way and do a figure eight kind of as many tricks and things as i can Right around here and then circle around and go back and so it's uh like most kooky projects this won't be as awesome as it exists in my mind but it'll still be pretty awesome so anyway that's the scoop and now that i have uh now that i have my <coughs> awesome gopro mount i think i can i think i can make the videos a lot faster and use two hands to make the roller coaster. So we'll see how that goes. Now, as you can see, this part is fixed. This gear here, this this pulley and this sprocket are fixed to the track. That's the part that's gonna be rigid. And then this, these two pieces, as you can see, these hinge and the weight of the motor pulls on this belt and we'll keep it tight. And then once I get this thing attached, the weight of, uh, the weight of the motor pulling on the second one, pulling on the first one, will keep this belt tight. I think I'm gonna need a little bit longer belt for this one um, and then the whole thing ought to work and so what I've got now is I've got the motor hooked up to the pulley on the motor I've got the the little pulley on the motor hooked up to the first big pulley the 10 inch pulley which moves it from 1700 to 175 rpm as we discussed once before and then I've got a little small pulley here which will go to this smaller pulley here and it'll gear it down yet again it'll gear it down from 75 to about 50 which ought to pull the cart up the hill in about 26 seconds that's my hope anyway and we'll see what happens but i have here the plug for the motor this is the first time that i have ever done this and i have here 
an electrical outlet. And so what I thought might be fun would be to just plug it in and see what happens. I'm gonna scooch back a little bit. Ready? Okay, push the like button now. This is a great time to, uh, to make the motor go. You can make the motor go by pushing the like button. So ready? In three, two, one, you push the like button. Three, two, one. What? Oh yeah. Okay, so we got that stuff working. You see it's a little bit wobbly and stuff and I'll bolt it down so that everything is rigid and tight. But this works, I'm happy with this. And so we'll, we'll move on to the next set of problems. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. We've got uh, the transmission built. I've got the lift hill pretty much built. It's ready to go. I need, um, I need some lag screws so that I can mount this thing out in the yard to the, to the uh, support that I've already built. I'll give you a, a look at that. That's right out here, right? This thing is built. These things are spaced just exactly perfect so that, well, you know, they're spaced. Um, so that they don't interfere with any of the hardware, any of the workings, the chain and the motor and all of that sort of stuff. And they also support the heck out of the lift hill um, and get us way, way, way up 10 feet off the ground when this thing starts. And if you're like sitting up, you know, sitting up is probably two feet. So, so your head, when you get to the top of this thing, your head is going to be 10 or 12 feet off the ground. You're going to be able to see rooftops throughout the neighborhood when you're riding the thing. So anyway, my goal for the night, uh, my goal for the day, it's like just about lunchtime now. My goal for the day is to get this attached to the lift hill and get the lift hill powered so that at least it can move its chain today. And then I'll also get all of that mounted out in the back, uh, the back of the front yard. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm gonna put this video up because I don't know how much longer, uh, I don't know how much longer the rest of this is gonna take and I just, I, I feel like I owe you some progress report. So, once again, my name is Will Pemble. Thank you for helping me bring physics, family, and fun to kids everywhere. This is the favorite of my activities and I'm so glad I get to share it with you. I will see you soon.